Weeks before a grand celebration marked the opening of New York International Airport at Idlewild, a solo pilot was the first to land on the newly built tarmac. Climbing out of the aircraft on July 1, 1948, Port Authority Commissioner Donald Lowe looked around and said, I'd like to see some business here. What Lowe and the rest of the world would see in just a few years was more than just some business. Starting with opening day, more than 200,000 jubilant spectators converged on the new airport. Even President Truman and New York Governor Thomas E. Dewey, battling for the presidency in 1948, set aside politics to shake hands and celebrate. And overhead, hundreds of aircraft marked the occasion with the largest military flyover in peacetime. Idlewild fast became the airport that would usher in the jet age. Opening the same year as the UN's New York headquarters, Idlewild would become a truly global gateway and the nation's front door to the world. The airport was the port of call for heads of state, royalty, movie stars, athletes, and celebrities. Eight new terminals were built by 1962, each an architectural marvel comprising what was called Terminal City. It was the first commercial flight of a Boeing 707 jetliner from Idlewild to Paris in 1958 that revolutionized air travel. By the time Idlewild was renamed in honor of John F. Kennedy in 1963, cementing its place in history, the golden age of air travel at JFK was beginning to lose its luster. As nations around the world invested in new modern airports, JFK fell behind. The architectural gems that made up Terminal City weren't designed to handle a new generation of aircraft carrying ever more passengers. Today, a new chapter for JFK at 75 is being written. A new Terminal 1 anchoring the south side of the airport, and a new Terminal 6 connecting seamlessly with Terminal 5 to create an anchor on the airport's north side. A modernized and expanded Terminal 4 nearing completion. An expanded Terminal 8 completed. And in a tribute to the past, a restored former TWA terminal that today serves as the only on-airport hotel at JFK. Altogether, the new and expanded terminals represent $15 billion in private investment, leveraged by $3.9 billion in Port Authority funding for new garages, roads, and infrastructure. The project will create thousands and thousands of good-paying jobs while offering billions of dollars in contracting and employment opportunities for the local community. The new JFK will include spacious terminals filled with natural light, inspiring public art, iconic and locally inspired restaurants and shops, and the latest in technology and wayfinding. And just as in the past, the new JFK will create a unique sense of place that lets travelers know they've arrived in New York. JFK's next chapter will showcase the power of innovation, collaboration, diversity and inclusion, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. The airport's vibrant future will recapture its historic past, ensuring that JFK continues to be a symbol of progress and economic vitality as the region's gateway to the world for generations to come.